<laughs> if uh, somebody on your team had to be a two-way player, who would it be playing both offense and defense? Offense and defense? Yeah. Hmm. That's a good question. I don't think any I don't think any of the offensive players could play defense. So it's gonna have to be a defensive player that could play offense. And I'll probably go. Chauncey might have the best Chauncey might actually have the best chance. He might be a nice little like a little slot receiver or something. Does he have any history playing it? Or you I just, don't know. You just I'm just thinking. I'm just yeah. I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking off traits. Like Chauncey, might, his ball security might be might be terrible though. But I think he might have the best shot. <laughs> <laughs> well, what about Taysom? I mean, obviously he was one of the first thoughts. Would would he have a role on defense, or he he has to stay on that side of the ball? I think I'll keep him on offense because you put Taysom on defense, then it's like you know he does everything on offense. Then like what what. Taysom play the three technique? Would he play corner, linebacker, safety? It's like, I don't know. Maybe a safety. Is there any white safeties in the NFL? <laughs> yeah, <sure. laughs> oh yeah, we got yeah, we got Harrison. Shout out to Harrison. Shout out He. We got Air we got Weddle. Oh, we got a couple dudes. Never mind. Taysom might be able to play safety. All right, I got it. Yeah. Thanks, man. <laughs> Don DeShazer. Now Mike's got everybody all rod up. Alvin, why can't you play defense? Why? Yeah, you know, I, I might. I, the tackling thing, like y'all saw me try to make a tackle on Sunday, when when the old boy picked the ball off in the end zone, it ain't really work. Like I got one shot, and if it, if it's if I miss, then I don't know. I'm not. I don't, I don't think I got time. Too much time to be chasing people down. Like I'm not chasing me. I'm not chasing Shorty B. I'm not. I'm not chasing those guys. I don't want to. <laughs> Johnson. Hey, Alvin, maybe you won't even have an answer to this, but I'll try anyways. Um, with, uh, with just the threat that Jameis presents uh, throwing that deep ball, like the one he connected home with Deontay the other day, do um, you think that, that could help create space for the rest of you guys to operate just, just with defenses having to know that's there? Yeah, of course. I mean, anytime you got a, you, you got a quarterback that, that could push the ball down the field, I mean, defenses have to be aware of that. I mean, it's, it opens up a lot, you know. Um, create some space for us to uh, navigate underneath and uh, get the running game going. And, you know, it just provides another option. And then, you know, Jameis, anytime he get an opportunity to throw a deep, he, he itching for it. But, I mean, obviously all within within uh, the framework of the game plan. But, I mean, it's lovely to have it. And, then, you know, our, you know our defense loves it, just his ability to be able to do that, <laughs> um, just get points on the board and push the uh, – stretch the field. And, I mean, it's, it's great to have. Does that change things for you when you're running those wheel routes? You gotta keep running a little bit. Oh yeah, I gotta keep. I gotta keep going because James might just launch that thing up. So <laughs> good for me. At the same time, I gotta be conscious. Like yo, he might really throw this. Big underhill. Um, what, what's the impact of just being down a, a couple of coaches this week? And does it make anything harder, or is it just kind of business as usual? I mean, you know, nothing. Time don't stop for no man. So obviously, you know, with them. Being out, I think the I think the coaches are more stressed than us. You know, the coaches that are out, you know, JTL, Rosa, or I mean, a couple guys out. Um, you know, them them dudes like they on my line, like trying to make sure we good. And I don't know. I I think, of course, we miss them at practice, but you know, we got to keep moving. You know, they're doing what they can to kind of keep us dialed in or keep themselves sane. You know, talking to us and and uh, making sure we on point with everything. But you know, the show goes on. It's like it's like next man up. You know, Streif in there doing his thing, Bushrod, uh, RC, DJ, you know, those guys stepping up and, and coaching. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm just keeping it moving. We got to keep it moving. John DeShazer. Alvin, we've seen a lot about what you do as a businessman. What made you decide to expand so much as a businessman, I guess, this early in your career? Man, uh, I think I just had that. I've always had that itch from when I was younger, just curious about it and, and, you know, just wanted to explore different avenues and, and different, you know, ways to, you know, not only create revenue, but just, you know, impact community, impact other people, impact, impact other people's lives, impact other people's families and, you know, just give opportunity. So, um, you know, I think that's that's really the main thing on my mind, just giving people opportunities that they may, you know, didn't think they would have or couldn't imagine. So, um I mean, it's like I right now. I'm just thinking. I'm, my mind is going about a hundred miles per hour, just thinking about all the stuff that I'm 
doing right now and then thinking about doing and might have up in the, in the air but uh just it's it's incredible what you can do if you when you put your mind to it so i think that i've been blessed in that area to kind of just go with you know where my heart wants to go and, and kind of try to branch out and do the things that you know i felt like maybe not maybe may not have been you know attainable when i was young but i'm like man shoot uh, shoot my shoot my shot and, and go for it and hopefully it'll stick if not we go back to the drawing board and try to draw it back up and make it work so with johnson oh, but it seems like the last couple of years y'all have had you all have had to kind of deal with uh, you know injuries attrition on the offensive line it never seems like like that unit misses a beat. Uh, what do you think is kind of behind that? I feel like we got the best O line in the NFL. So those guys, I mean, I think all of them are always ready. You know, no matter what. Um, I mean, first game, you know, Eric goes down and sees just hops in and he goes to center like he's been playing center all, all camp. Like he hasn't taken a snap at center since last year. You know what I'm saying? But he comes in and doesn't miss a beat. You know, guys moving around too. I mean, all those guys can play up and down the line. Um, Maybe not Teron, because we were talking about him playing right tackle today, and he ain't like that. But <laughs> uh, you know, those guys, they, those guys kind of take pride in, in being able to, to, you know, adjust and, and go go with things on the fly. I mean, they they're the foundation. We were talking about. I think me and me and Teron and a couple guys were talking about it today. They, I mean, the O line is the foundation of, of our offense. So without without them, it's kind of you know you don't really got nothing. Jeff Nowak. Hey, um. um so it seems kind of crazy, but it's been since 2019 since y'all faced Christian McCaffrey in a football game. Uh, I just wonder, you know, when you come to those matchups with these superstar running backs, is there any extra juice just kind of, uh, you know, flowing on that regard? <laughs> Not really other than, you know, we cool. I mean, obviously, uh, me and Christian know each other. and I mean, I, I, like, I think I always get this question about, you know, running backs in the league and other running backs who I think is the best and all this, but, I mean, it's just honestly respect. I don't want to see him do good against us, obviously, because I want to win. But I mean, I, I I love and respect Christian's game. Um, just coming. I mean, we both came in the same class. So he 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 does some incredible things. So, you know, I, I'm hopefully I'm, I can lend the ear to the defense on how to stop him and and it worked. But you know, I don't think it's really. A, I'm not really in competition with Christian when we're playing against him. You know, I'm watching him. If he has a good play, I'm like <laughs> running down to the defensive side, like y'all can't let him do this. You know, but he's a great player, elite player. I mean, he's going he's gonna to make some plays. But, um, yeah, I'm just I, – hopefully I do what I got to do. You know, I ain't too worried about, you know, what he's doing. Great player, though. Appreciate your time, Alvin. Thank you. Yep.